What's up, homies? Welcome back to another trailer reaction from Heroes Reforged. We are doing the brand new trailer for Black Widow, the movie that will hopefully come out on July 9th or whatever the new date is. Come hell or high water, yeah, it damn will. it. Just put the movie out. I think now yeah, we're at this point uh... where we're, we're thankfully by J June, July, most of us will all be vaccinated and we'll be ready to go see this movie in theaters. I'm very excited that they pushed this movie back just for the fact that I don't feel like I have to now be rushed to go yeah. get the damn vaccination. Yeah. Regardless, I think and, by and the first week of May, we'll be good. Us three, at least. And even for those... The, for those who are maybe watching and are not going to be vaccinated by that point, right. it's still going to have that Disney Plus premiere access at the same yeah. time, which also I'm happy about too, just because it's like, you know, with these movies this year, don't force audiences to the movie theater if where they're not ready, if they're not right. comfortable, if it's not safe. Mm -hmm. So, you know, HBO Max has been doing these like simultaneous releases and Disney Plus with the premiere access. All I'm going to say is justice for Black Widow. Let's just watch this trailer. Let's just watch this. Man, I, yeah. just, I need yeah. her to have her glory day in the hot sun. <laughs> on go. In three, two, one, go. You don't know everything about me. What a page. Hey, we know that train station. We were at that train station. Before I was an Avenger. Before I got this family. I made mistakes choosing between what the world wants you to be. How wow. dare you show this again? How dare you show this again? Wasn't expecting all those flashbacks. Ooh. No. We have to go back to where it all started. Where did you think I was all this time? We have unfinished business. My girls are the toughest girls in the world. Wow. Wow. I'm sorry. We had our orders and we played our roles. It wasn't real. Whoa, it was real. Okay. Lots of backstory. Wow. Yeah. To me, you were everything. Bring her home. Is that Ray Winstone? Put your seatbelt on. She's such a mom. Jesus. Okay, who? Okay, what? <laughs> that was a hell of a transition. Yeah, right? Yeah, that was great. For sure. <laughs> I'm done running from my past. God damn. <laughs> Yo, Taskmaster looks like they're not messing around. Listen to nice that. Nice musical choice. Chorus. Oh my God! They use that. They use that with uh, the Avengers trailers too. Wow, that, that was I love that too. Ooh, spicy. To bring in, the to ball. Bring in a, a Russian chorus and to then also like sing the Avengers theme. It's like, oh, that is epic. Okay, hot dog. Was hot dog. Dog. Give it that really gravitas. Like... It was yeah, it was big. It was bold. I <sighs> like it. A lot, yeah. a lot of stuff in this trailer that we've well, that we've seen before, but you know, I I don't mind it because I feel like the front end of the trailer was really diving deep into like we're going to explore the backstory of natasha romanoff and how she got mm -hmm. into this into this into the secret academy of black widows and the training and yeah, stuff mm -hmm. so that's all really good to see i'm also like super super curious if we've heard like rumors and rumblings and none of it has been confirmed that we might possibly see elena belova in falcon and the winter soldier and because yeah, they've had to change sure. the release schedule of all these things and black widow has been pushed so many times because of the pandemic and didn't really yeah. have the, the ability to just go straight to disney plus or at least Marvel Studios didn't want that, which like I'm totally fine with. I, I agree. Like I want to witness all these movies theatrically, and I would hate for Black Widow yeah. to be the one movie out of the 24, I know. 25 that I like. Know. Sorry, no theater react release for this one. Like, come on. Um, but I'm do on, I am curious if if that happens because we'll finish Falcon Winter Soldier way before this movie comes out. Sure. If that happens, sure. if uh, if that in some way changed how they were gonna do that. Or whatever, or if it's just gonna, she'll just show up and that'll be it, and we're just gonna be like, whatever. We'll watch Black Widow. We'll get the backstory. Yelena Belova mm -hmm. will most likely take up the mantle of Black Widow. Um, and, and not not in that movie, but at least it'll like kind of uh, sprinkle the seeds, I guess you could say, because we have Endgame. That I think. Happens. I think it, it it all depends on, so what's been happening this year is that WandaVision came out, Falcon and Winter Soldier came out, and people are are already trying to figure out as these shows are airing, like when mm -hmm. does this take place? WandaVision took us a, a couple episodes 
mm-hmm. to be like, oh, three weeks after Endgame. Yeah. Falcon and Winter Soldier pretty much up top was like, it's been six months. So we're like, yeah. okay, that's when this takes place. The question for Black Widow is, especially with this trailer opening and kind of reframing the context and reminding everybody about Black Widow and her journey and what happened to her in Endgame, will this movie end and have some sort of present like day bookend? bookend right, and will right, that right. fit before or after the events of the Falcon and the Winter Soldier? That's right. going to be a, a, a really it fun thing to discover with this mm-hmm. film and uh you yeah. know i'm a timeline nut so i'm looking forward to it i can't wait but also the movie itself looks dope as hell the, it looks born <laughs> you know the action looks amazing yeah. i love when characters fly through the air and they can't fly it's gonna be cool <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah yeah there's some high stakes with that kind of action i just I, I don't know what else i can say about this movie that i haven't said already it's time let's let's have our girl you know do her thing let's give her the limelight and you know what, what are you pointing it, at? <laughs> in my eyes. Put this movie in my eyeballs. The one it's thing, time, it's right? with, this, with this movie being delayed so many times, um, I don't know how, how much I want to say here, but all, all I'll say is that somebody that we know had like saw a version of this movie, and yeah. I think that the pandemic will hopefully have given them an opportunity to go back and, and fix some things that I've heard are not so strong in the movie, and hopefully help make mm. the movie be stronger because i mm. i don't want to see the trend where like the best movies that marvel makes don't necessarily deal with female characters because like what well, um, oh, for sure captain for marvel sure. you know outside of people who are just assholes uh, a lot of people were kind of like half and half on the movie and i don't want to go sure. into black widow and i don't want to walk out of it and people be like well i'm kind of half and half on it meanwhile you know mm. movies like thor and, and iron man and all those other movies get a lot of love and like I want that for this movie. If we're yeah, already we going to make this movie, like let's make it the best possible thing ever. And I want people to walk out and be it. like, great. I'm glad we got it. Yeah. Recontextualize her story really well. Made me really care about mm-hmm. her even more. That way, when I go back mm-hmm. and I rewatch the other stuff in the MCU pre civil war, I care about the character that much, that much more. And then when I get to Endgame, I'm really emotionally connected to the character when, when she dies. So mm-hmm. that's what I hope the movie yeah. does for black widow as a character. <sighs> Well said, well said. Good cast, you know, it, yeah. it, all, all of the Harbor. ingredients mm. are there. Yeah. All of the ingredients are there. Uh, Rachel yeah. Weiss, I mean, what a get, what a so get, good. what a get. So I, good. I hope this I is a wait. mega winner. I hope this is Same. a mega winner. Let's yeah. just, I, I wish I could Excited. go right now to go watch it. Like I just, I, I know, man. I've been waiting for this movie for so long. I just want to go right now. <sighs> I know, I know. We'll see, we'll see you guys. I could put on some 3D glasses, 3D glasses and sit in the theater and watch it. Is this Marvel coming out in 3D? Because it's the, there's oh, been like no advertising. Not, if it's not, I'm gonna burn this fucker down. Are you kidding me? Because <laughs> the theater, like the the tag, the card at the end, you normally says in like in theaters and IMAX. Doesn't say IMAX. Doesn't say 3D. Hector uh, might be. We're gonna have to get. Uh, we're gonna have to get Feige on the phone and yeah. say like, bro, come on, come on, bro. Maybe What's Phase up? Four is retiring I... 3D. Oh. No. Hector, I chit, I chit, I chit. That's not good for Hector's completionist brain. All right. If that's what's going to happen. <laughs> He's so sad. We're going to have to start. We're going to have to start crowdfunding 3D conversions of these movies on our own. That's all I'm saying. We're going to have to start crowdfunding. People are going to now, as a hobby, hobbyists are going to be like, okay, you take that shot. I take this shot. They're going to piece it together. We're going to do WandaVision, Falcon and Winter Soldier. We're going to do everything. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Our GoFundMe is open now. We need to raise fifty yeah. million dollars. <laughs> oh, that Roto. You know, <sighs> you know all the road. We need to hire a whole warehouse of people in India. Uh, we need yeah. to hire about three hundred artists working ooh, six days a week. Ooh, month. Ooh. Guys, let us know in the comments your thoughts on this trailer. Are you excited to see wait, Black wait. Widow? Will you fund I'm the GoFundMe sure to turn this into three D? Hey. I'm pretty sure Black Widow is coming out in 3D because we used to work with the person who's the 3D stereo supervisor at Marvel Studios. And they worked and they on They definitely this movie? worked on Black Widow. Remember last year, I hit them up, hit them up with like, "Hey, would you guys be interested?" This is before the pandemic, with some kind of 3D screening and you know to really showcase the format. And they were like, "Let me check. Let me get back to you." And then it, it didn't work out and stuff. But like, I yeah, yes, that that one at I least, so. that one at least. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Papa like, Papa like. <laughs> Guys, let us know your comments, uh, your thoughts in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't done already. If you're here, you probably have. And we'll catch you guys in the next reaction. Bye.